ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅನುಪಮ ಕೃಷ್ಣಪ್ಪ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಆಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಎ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಎ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೌತ್ ಈಸ್ಟ್ ಏಷ್ಯನ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಸ್ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ so uh, so welcome ma'am uh, to uh, this thoughts on education conducted by uh, collegedunia.com so starting with the first question here ma'am so you have held a uh, held a key position at education institute throughout your career so what are the key factors that keeps you connected with the uh, education sector mainly uh, i like to uh, extend my own vision towards education Uh, education only can all alone make our uh, nation powerful what i believe in that and we are practiced in that i'm happy to say that uh, india is the one of oldest uh, country which has provided education system to the entire world maybe more than 8000 bc 800 bc sorry 800 bc uh, from there we have providing educational institution and universities to the entire world mm. as everyone knows yeah. my father is a founder of this institution a krishna pandit and he has started is this education uh, implementation means education institution implementation passed from more than 50 years i can consider mm-hmm. when he was in this was a village and he wants to start an institution for the ed- education institution for a village people from there itself he has started his first step Great. Great. where i can share proudly with everyone Great. this is the vision of a uh, founder of this institution Great. so when he was in he started a uh, institution along with the other help of uh, village people mm-hmm. and he has started uh, one educational institution as of now also still it's going on nearly about 1200 students are studying in that institution mm-hmm. that is uh, catered for economically challenging people Uh, so through this um, we can make our society more powerful and more challenging towards to the world global great ma'am so uh, being the joint secretary of uh, c uh, college of engineering and technology what are your philosophy of leadership yeah yeah in the in the future as of now we have uh, earlier i have shared that we are giving the service of schools ngpg courses law nursing educational training industrial training along with this technical courses like engineering and mba mm-hmm. so in the future we want to go upgrade ourselves into the university okay we want to make entire our institution as a university this is my uh, main uh, vision towards our right. institution right ma'am so uh, being the joint secretary of c college of engineering and technology how do you strategize about the key uh, programs and plan for marketing and administration of the college ma'am? yeah related to marketing we mainly uh, approaches a rural area of throughout india and out of india also mm-hmm. like uh, in a north northeast states we have a, a different category students who are doing nursing engineering and ug pg courses and law and all mm-hmm. in karnataka also mm-hmm. we have from rural background only students are more so we want to focus more with the rural students the main two things is in a rural sector they are not able to reach for the yeah. educational exposure mm-hmm. so we want to bring those students and make them uh, uh means get trained in respect of their courses and get into their life and along with this we will have a uh, uh, what greater satisfaction Great, that is one thing and the other thing is yes rural students are economically challenged yeah. we want to support them mm-hmm. and along with this uh, the rural students are less exposed yeah. to the world exactly. so when they are uh, when they are coming into our institution they'll get all sort of uh, trainings mm-hmm. along with their courses so this is the great support what we want to do and we'll be happy to do this great ma'am so uh, how does the curriculum of uh, c college of engineering ensure the best practice to the industry ma'am the world is facing a uh, uh, covid uh, problem uh, so along with this 
it's a very difficult uh, task to complete the curricular uh, whatever academic uh, related things okay yeah. so with this i like to tell that we we want to provide all the programs online as of now we are providing mm-hmm. year 2021 we are providing all the services through online to our especially we are more focused with our engineering students and according to under the guidance of we are as we are affiliated under vtu mm-hmm. we are connecting all the programs through online fast from my month we have started uh, other offline classes for our other students mm-hmm. and along with that we have started new courses that is artificial intelligence and machine learning mm-hmm. and the internet of things and cyber security. cyber security great yeah. so these are the courses we are nearly newly offering for our students and under the instruction of vtu we will go ahead and we we'll make participation of students and the faculties everyone here and looking forward for the best outcome great ma'am yeah. so any insight into how your institute can be more welcoming to the students of different races and economic backgrounds yeah as earlier i shared uh, we are focusing and uh, not only in uh, or uh, means other states of rural areas in, in our place also we are focusing more on to the rural students yeah. so i like to welcome all my rural students and the, within the urban students also mm-hmm. so we can support them for uh, uh, whatever we because we are affiliated under different universities yeah so according to that we can support them uh, courses whatever we are offering here mm-hmm. and they can come here and they can take all the Great. facilities yeah. we have a special offer for uh, students uh, from nepal um, bangladesh uh, yeah bangladesh and other part, other uh, countries and uh, we have started uh, we are implementing sorry we are implementing new skilled programs which are directed by uh, government of india mm-hmm. so we are implementing those programs for rural and urban students mm-hmm. uh, these are all skill development <coughs> program mm-hmm. so along with this uh, uh, fixed means uh, guaranteed placements will be there for the students okay so great. we are uh, uh, focusing on on this great ma'am yeah, so yeah so uh, what do you think uh, should be the uh, institute's top priority over the next 10 years ma'am yeah obviously definitely institute will be the top priorities mm-hmm. institutes are uh, producing uh, Uh, of strength and uh, power to the nation they are the, the students who has to go ahead and uh, they have to cater in a different uh, uh, sectors okay mm-hmm. for that institute has to uh, go ahead properly whatever the condition mm-hmm. so uh, so when you come uh, first came to uh, see college of engineering and technology so what was your vision uh, towards the university and has it evolved over time and how far along is Im- implementing uh, the vision for yeah uh, when the point of vision comes we have lot of visions but we have certain limited uh, uh, implementation because mm-hmm. we are under uh, affiliated under btu okay. so we can implement those things like uh, conducting different seminars for students yeah. and the placement uh, training not only from the year of uh, Uh, seventh uh, means fourth sem uh, fourth year mm-hmm. means like seventh semester we want to train them from the first year itself yeah. we have implemented a new new method for them mm-hmm. for example we can say very simple thing students who comes from different uh, states they even they don't have basic english knowledge yeah. so we want to train our students from the grassroots level then only they can get into a proper uh, Uh, companies when they go for a work they should be prepared well mm-hmm. for their future uh, so they can give their entire if, um, uh, output when they go to uh, go through out of our institutions great ma'am so what do you like uh, uh, like people to know about your uh, uh, institute that they may not know ma'am yeah we can say that proudly this institution has started 20 years ago my father is a founder mm-hmm. myself is the joint secretary here but mm-hmm. uh, the main thing is yeah we are providing uh, our uh, pro uh, means uh, programs to entirely rural area india is a country where it is located with a lot of rural uh, people yeah. so that's why we are we can say proudly about this along with this we have other courses also along with the engineering we have other courses also 
and we have given a best output and we have secured best awards out of uh, Prince recognized, recognized universities. So ma'am, uh, what do you see as uh, CE College of Engineering and Technology's greatest strength? Yes, uh, when the students coming uh, with us, we want to see them getting into placement 100%. Yeah. For that, we have to focus more with them from the starting year itself. Mm -hmm. Not only training them in the final year, we want to make them to train from the start, first year itself. Mm -hmm. Like uh, English classes, the first the basic things. The main thing is they don't understand the, year, uh, the English, what the uh, means accents because they come from the different region. Yeah. And along with this, we want to train them through seminars mm -hmm. and uh, training uh, uh, <coughs> classes. And we are, we are, we want to take them to industrial visit from mm -hmm. the first year itself. And along with that, we have, we want to start a placement training from the second year onwards itself. Mm -hmm. Then only they can get trained very well. We have different programs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, V2 has guided us uh, some program, fixed program. Along with that, our institution is catering uh, different programs to train them to get into placements. Mm -hmm. We want to get all our students into placements and they have to uh, go with the good future for themselves Great. and their family. Great ma'am. So uh, what are some of the biggest challenges you see uh, both for higher education and uh, for C uh, College of Engineering especially? Greatest challenge is especially this year we are seeing entire world is seeing a greatest challenge uh, related to COVID-19. Yeah. Every different uh, organizations or different sectors they have their own challenges. Even uh, institutions have their own challenges. Mm -hmm. Along with this, we have to focus on uh, how to get connect with the industrial, yeah. uh, especially for the mechanical students and the civil students. Uh, we have to see that what kind of uh, interaction we go with the institution, mm -hmm. institution and the because institutions are on the other side, and the industrial sector will be on the other side. Yeah. How to get connect with this? Mm -hmm. So with this, we want to start a skill development program for engineering students also. Mm -hmm. This will this will be the greater way to get connect to them. Exactly. For that, we are starting the course of DDU mm -hmm. and GKY. GKY. Yeah. GKY and PMKY and CMKY. Mm -hmm. So these programs will help them to get connect to the industries very quickly yeah. and assurable. Those are all assurable. So along with this, we are collaborating our students with the student program exchange with the Germany Great. institutions. Great. And we want to train our students for with the German language. Mm -hmm. Then when, once we, they get through with the German language uh, course, then we want to send our students to the uh, Germany. Germany. So there also it's a fixed means guaranteed um, uh, placements Germany. are there for engineering both as well as nursing students also. Great, great. These are the uh, challenges we are um, means implementing this year and we'll go ahead with this. Great ma'am, great. So uh, one last question ma'am. So any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and as aspiring students ma'am? Yeah. The point of uh, current youth when it comes Yes, uh, as we are seeing uh, every day, um, me, myself, I'm always uh, surrounded with the youths past from 20 years yeah. and I'm seeing that. Uh, my thing, my uh, suggestions for all the students is, see, whatever we are doing, we will have a purpose of doing that. Mm -hmm. Being a student, when you waste your time, there is no purpose of being a student at all. Yeah. Please don't waste your time. I can understand being a youngster, it's very difficult to manage yourself. The small uh, key is to manage this is time balancing. Mm -hmm. Please balance your time with the education and your entertainment and personal career related to health and related to your future. Please uh, look into balance this and fulfill your purpose of uh, being a student. Then only you can reach to the goal when you want to reach on a time. Mm -hmm. This is the main uh, message I like to tell all the students. Then only you can uh, be uh, safe and in a good position in your future. Uh, this way you can not only supporting your family and yourself, you can support your, our country. So. 
great ma'am so uh, thank you ma'am for being with us uh, in this uh, thoughts on education conducted by collegedunia.com so i believe the students uh, will be viewing, viewing your interview so they will get some insight about the institute uh, about uh, c college of engineering institute itself and uh, they can make a, a decision for uh, taking admission in this uh, college so and also thank you for your visionary sharing your visionary words and all so thank you ma'am again i like to thank uh, college dunia uh, giving my opportunity to uh, share my uh, about my institution and uh, my thoughts and visions thanks so